and then shout hallelujah lift your hand and shout hallelujah come on come alive this morning david said i slept and i woke up because the lord sustained me you couldn't have been up today if the lord had not sustained you lift your hands and lift your voice and then clap your hands and then shout unto the lord with a voice of triumph with a voice of victory hallelujah and move around to 10 people and welcome them to the house of the lord the house of the king of kings and the house of the lord of lords Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. It's all right. Just breathe your name upon me. hallelujah we are in the middle of november very soon november will end and then the last month of 2021 will begin as for december you don't know how it runs fast because it's full of a lot of holidays so before you know you are here crossing over so if there is any time to pray now it's now you are going to lift your hands and say in the name of jesus i thank you for preserving me in 2021 that even in the COVID time you protected me and you preserved me lord my hands that are lifted is a sign of gratitude to you O oh lord therefore i'm asking that the rest of the year preserve my life and sustain my life jam your hands together for jesus and begin to pray Lift your voice and now listen december is a month of thanksgiving let me tell you something if you walk down the road and then you saw a little girl and then you give the little girl 10 ghana cities and then later maybe a month later and then you were just standing there and the little girl spotted you and came to you and said doctor please i have come to thank you for the money that you gave to me the last time believe me anytime you come you'll be looking for that girl to give him more that is how life is and if you saw that girl 
And the girl even passed by you. So, ah. so this girl cannot even recognize me that I am even the one that gave. That is our life. There are many people who don't appreciate in life because they are not grateful. If you want to appreciate in life, you need to be grateful. Whatever God has done for you, don't be looking at the things that you were looking for. Do you know how many people have died? A lot of people have died. Some died without announcement. Some died by road accident. Some died when they had a simple stomach ache and they went to the hospital and the doctor said, I can't help you. You have had the same sickness. You have traveled to the same Cape Coast, the same Accra, the same Kumasi, and then you have come back here. Today is the 14th of November. You want to lift your hand and say, Lord, I am offering a prayer of thanksgiving. Of thanksgiving. Lift your hand and say, Lord, Lord, I thank you, I thank you for, sustaining for sustaining and preserving my life. Preserving my life. Come on, begin to pray now. Pray of thanksgiving. Pray of thanksgiving. I thank you. Pray of thanksgiving. I bless you. I give you for thanksgiving. For sustaining my life. I give you for my health. Thank you, Lord. For my health. For my health. Thank you, Lord. My your hands your last prayer God always reserves the best for the last God always do what reserves the best for the last so the book of Ecclesiastes say better is the end of a thing than the beginning you still need a last minute miracle a last minute blessing something mega must happen to you in the next 40 days and over and as you are going to lift your hands and pray, lift your hands. You are asking God, say, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive. A last minute miracle. A last minute miracle. One more testimony. One more testimony. Two more testimonies. Two more testimonies. Three more testimonies. Three more testimonies. By the end of this year. By the end of this year. Lord, I pray. Lord, I pray. Give me. Give me. Another testimony. Another testimony. Bless me. Bless me. With another miracle. Another miracle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Father, as I open Clap up your hands and pray, and pray, bless me with a miracle in the name of Clap Jesus. Your hands bless me with pray. that testimony. Bless me, oh God, with that open door. Clap in your the name hands of and Jesus. pray. Bless me, oh God. Clap Give your hands and pray. Surprise me. Yes, Give me Lord. a last minute miracle. Clap in the your mighty hands name of Jesus. Surprise my enemies. Surprise my enemies in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Without miracle in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Yes, Lord. Church, open your hands and pray. Open your voice. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pariata, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands. Let's sing one song. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. And as we honor you, we give you glory, Lord. And as we honor you, you are worthy. You are worthy. 
changing changer the one who was and is to come the one who made the heavens and the earth and the seas and everything in them Lord this morning as we hear your word and as the word is being preached change lives transform destinies and do for us what no man can ever do in the name of the resurrected Christ Amen please have your seat the Lord bless you Please, if you have any child with you, please don't let the child stay with you. You know what? This church has, don't close the door yet. Give them extra 20 minutes. All right. If you have any child, you let the child go upstairs. Because what they are teaching there, I am privy to it. It's very wonderful. It's very, very educative. And it will grow your child. Apart from that, when your child mingles with other children, that is the way God has made it. You know, there is something that happens to them. There is something that comes on their life. Allow your children to mingle with the other children in the church. By that way, they learn a lot of things. So I don't want to see anybody's child in the auditorium. Whether the child, unless the child maybe is you are breastfeeding the child. But even the child is four years, take the child over there. Hallelujah. Can you clap for the Lord Jesus? All right. This morning, we're going to the word of God. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 preaching on total recovery. Ezekiel 37. We're going to stand for the reading of the word. We are reading from verse 1 to verse 7. Let's stand to read the king's word. Hallelujah. Let's stand to read the king's word. Let's read together. One, two, go. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, there were very many in the open valley and they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? 
And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Hold on there and be seated. And so Ezekiel, the prophet of God, one of God's anointed, was carried into the valley of dry bones and then he saw that the bones that were in the valley were very dry. The bones were dead, dead bones. And then the voice asked him and said, Son of man, can these bones live? And the man of God said, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Ladies and gentlemen, the dry bones that were dead represented the house of Israel. Every one of us here represent spiritual Israelites. There comes a time that as a child of God, you enter into dryness. some kind of deadness in your life. Sometimes it's spiritual. Sometimes it's financial. Sometimes it's business. Sometimes it's your relationship. Sometimes it's your marriage. There are many people under the sound of my voice who are going to check this morning, some watching online, who have dry bones in their life. Spiritual dry bones. Financial dry bones. Marital dry bones. Relationship dry bones. Meaning that the business, you go to the shop, but you know that the business is dead. You are in that relationship, but you know that that relationship is dead. You are in but you know that that ministry is dead. Maybe today, this morning, something is dying in your life. And that thing that is dying in your life like Ezekiel, the Lord is asking Ezekiel, can these bones live? The Lord is asking you, can that thing in your life that is dead come back alive again? Can it become like it was before? The vibrancy and the power and the vitality and the strength that thing had. Can it come back again? There is something very confusing about this, but it's straightforward at the same time. God that asks Ezekiel, can these bones live? He knew the answer. I mean, how can God ask you that, can these bones live? He can do it. He knows the bones can live. But he wanted to know the fit level of Ezekiel. When you are confronted with dryness in your life, your reaction is very important to your next level. Seko na Subana Ebedino is very important to your next level. There are people who go in the, in the time of dry bones and they are like, it is over. I am finished. I am dead. Since this man is gone, it's all for me. Since the capital I took from the bank is gone, then I cannot make it again. Oh, since I've had three miscarriages, then it is over for me. But as we get into the end of the year, one of the things that God wants you to have is a positive conversion. To look into that dead situation and say to that situation, with God, all things are possible. 
to look into that situation and said, it is not over until it's over. God wants you to look into that situation and said, just as Lazarus died for four days and came back, this business will come back alive again. This marriage will come back alive again. This ministry will come back alive again. This investment will come back alive again. This educational career will come back alive again. Be seated. When you go confessing negative because of that which you are seeing around, you will enforce the death or the continuance or the permanent death of that situation. It will die forever. Am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, there is a young lady who has lost a business, who has lost a job. There is a young man who has lost something in his life. There is a man in his 40s who has been believing God, but the thing is not coming. But here comes the man, wakes up early in the morning and lifts up his eyes and said, It doesn't matter what has gone through in my life. I will still lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence came my help. It doesn't matter what has happened to me. The God I serve, he is a miracle working God. The God I serve, he is the God of all flesh. Can anything be too hard for him? Hallelujah. Peter, son of can these bones live? <laughs> thou knowest. Verse 3, thou knowest. Can these bones live? And the man answered and said, Oh Lord, thou knowest. But I want to bring you to something. I wanted Ezekiel to say, Oh Lord, thou knowest and I also know. The time has come that you must know that God knows that you can live again. But you must also say, and I also know that with God all things are possible. Your knowing is very important your knowledge is very important the bible says, for without knowledge the people perish i prophesy to somebody may god increase your knowledge may god increase your strength may god increase your mental capacity touch your mind and say oh lord thou knowest <laughs> Jesus. I know that you have done it before and you will do it again. I see 48 of you here in the name of Jesus. A testimony is coming your way. Hey, hey, hey. I say a testimony is coming your way. 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 Who am I talking to? A testimony is coming your way. Young man, young lady, a testimony is coming your way. I am a prophet and I speak to the five days ahead of you that by Friday may you have a good news. Let there be a an SMS on your phone, a text message on your phone that the miracle has come, the job has come, the blessing has come, the favor has come. Shout amen three times. Come on. Come on. Come on. Be seated. Verse 4. Quickly, I have 15 minutes to close. And he said unto me, then prophesy, prophesy upon these bones and say to them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thou 
word prophesy simply means don't let that word intimidate you. Remember them as no, remember them word no that word simply means declare. Declare. Somebody say, I will declare. He said, prophesy on these bones and say to them, oh ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. One of the things that God wants every child of God to know how to do is to declare. Is to declare. Is to confess. Declare what? Declare positive things. Bible says for death and life are in the power of the tongue. In kwa nabadi umu is in your tongue. When you declare negative, negative happens. When you declare positive, positive happens. He said, prophesy upon these dry bones. Put that in there. Prophesy on the dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Your next level is only guaranteed by your ability to declare positivity. Tospino. Your next level is only guaranteed by your what? Ability to, to declare what? Positivity. For instance, a young lady or young man, 29 years, goes to the embassy. And then a white young lady or a white young man looks at the young girl and says, I'm sorry. When I give you the visa to go to America or London, you cannot come. No, the young man or the young lady has finished the University of Legon or the, or the Karen, Karen UST. And the young man goes back home and says, All the school that I went to, it is over for me. When, whatever the young man says determines his direction. But another young man, like Joshua and Caleb, they will leave the embassy and said, You told me you can't give me the visa. I am going home, but I'm going to come back because I am determined to travel and you cannot stop me because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You found it upon the sea and established upon the floods. Declare. Young lady who is married, 31 years old, and then is pregnant. And then goes to deliver. And then after she's able to push and push and push. And later she's told why then? Why then? Give me the tissue. Why? That girl can go like, hey! How can I lose my child that way? Doctor! But another person can go and say, Hey, are you telling me I lost my child? I am telling you, doctor, this one that I have lost, the devil shall pay four times. I know I'll get my child back. I'll get my baby back. I am declaring to somebody here, everything that you have lost, I declare you will get it back from today. Hey, go back to your house go back to your business go back to your marriage go back to your education when you go back what are you going to do you are going back to declare on the environment on the circumstance on the situation that you begin to live you begin to rise you be healed you rise again am i communicating who am I talking to? Somebody shout yes. Hallelujah. Be seated. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Listen, it is not only the prophet who prophesies. God has mandated every child of God to be able to what? Declare and to say. Bible says, say to the righteous, it is well. The woman with the issue of blood 
when she went into that situation, Bible said, for she said, Mark chapter 5, I think verse 26 or so, for she said, in the midst of the situation, she said, and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and she was nothing better. You see, her situation was worse, but rather grew worse. 27, quickly, for when she had heard that of Jesus came in the press behind and turned his garment, verse 28, for she what? Said, talk to me, church, for she, for she, what are you saying? Look at somebody and say, what are you saying? Be on your feet and tell, ask somebody, what are you saying? You are too gentle this morning. Come on, go and look for five people and push them and say, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? Push the woman and say, what are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? saying what are you 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 saying hallelujah be seated what are you saying I'm not going to be catch them I'm not going to reckon some people are going to rise up and they are going to say I shall be the herd and not the tail. I shall be above and not beneath. I shall be on top and not below. Very soon I'll be in London. I'll be in America. I'll be in Dubai. I'll be in China. Very soon I'll marry. Very soon I'll give birth. Am I indicating? What are you saying? Be seated. When you follow somebody, the DNA of that person must come to you. Bishop was said to you, it's your father. My DNA must come, must come upon you. One of the things that characterizes my life is positive confession. Many preachers have come to tell you, me if I invite you, and you say no, I'll keep on inviting you. Until you say yes. Hey, me. Uh, I can call you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll send a text in a week. You can get like 25 texts. The, the, the conference starts next year. You are the main speaker, please. You are God's general. You are a man that is called sent to the city of Takrade as a time like this. Please, you cannot say no. Hmm. I don't know negativity. I want you to change your world by your confession. Change your environment by your confession. Change your health by your confession. Change your ministry by your confession. Hallelujah. Yesterday, I came to this auditorium in the evening when I was sending Reverend Saki to Accra. I just moved here and then the, the, this is the hill, right? There's a bone there. I had car. Now I can't walk. So I called her. Come and use a rope. That's what she used. She, she used that rope on my knee. There. When I went to sleep, the thing became so painful. <laughs> and I held it. And I said, Hey, Masa. So it will be Saturday night to go sign us what TN nights are go football park. When we are so for your pet time, you are sorry. Get out of my toe in the name. Get out. I rebuke you. Die. And I slept. When I woke up, you can change your world. Look at somebody and say, I speak to you. Change your world. Tomorrow, eh? Go to the market. Go to your shop. Go to your school. Go somewhere and tell the thing that a pay ye. Hallelujah. Be seated. Can these bones live? Are you getting the message? Young people grow up with it. Mr. Den, 
saying, let all your confessions be what? Positive. Continue verse 5 of Ezekiel 37. I have not lost my track at all. 37 5. And then, that said the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Continue. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. What has God commanded you? God has said, You shall not die, but you shall what? Live. What has God commanded? He said, You shall be the head and not the what tail. What has God commanded? He said, None of the daughters of Zion shall be barren. What has God said? He said, the race is not to the swift. The battle to the strong. Wisdom to the wise. Bread to men of understanding. Favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. What has God commanded? God has commanded that by his stripes, you are healed. So I prophesied as I was commanded. Whatever God has commanded in his word, declare it am I communicating now for you to get it right I can give you my house key please be seated and say sweetheart come what's your name are you a new member good so Charlotte you are what Charlotte Beckwith so Charlotte okay I'm giving you my car key go to the car open the car you see um something inside bring it then when you go there you see somebody there and say bishop said them bishop said them so you are going to open the car and take the thing as i have what commanded so open the car and take the thing as i have what commanded bishop no can only the whatever thank you whatever god thank you whatever god has said flow with it say it declare it am i communicating don't go and say the other way the lord said you will not die so don't go to the hospital and go and say the lord said you shall be the head and you go and say no 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 you are commanding you are prophesying the other way that god has said god has said you will prosper go and say i shall prosper god has said you will live long go and say i will live long god has said you will not die go and say i will not die god has said you are a peculiar people a holy nation go and say i am a peculiar people so i prophesied as i was commanded Continue, 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 continue. Verse, verse 7. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And as I prophesied, you see, when you keep on doing that, when you keep on declaring, sometimes eh, it's not just one day that you keep on saying that it comes home. At times, the more you say, eh, you don't see anything. But as you keep on saying, and as I prophesied, and as I prophesied,
they shall be gathered together. Shout and receive it. Be seated. How many of you understand the message today? The most important thing is your understanding. So there shall be a coming together. There shall be what? A coming together. The question this morning is what brought about the recovery? What brought about the coming together? How will you be able to recover? How will you be able to get restored? It's right there. Genesis 37, the first verse, the first verse, verse 1. What brings total recovery? Sorry, Ezekiel 37, verse 1, the first verse. What brings total recovery? That same chapter we read, the first verse, he said, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me in the spirit of the Lord and sent me down the midst of the valley which was full of bones before even he went to the valley Bible said the hand of the Lord the what? hand of the Lord to receive your recovery you need the hand of God write it down you need the hand of God you need the word the hand of the Lord was upon me when the hand of God comes on the people it brings recovery it brings restoration There are people who are dying for the hands of men. Of people. But what you actually need is what? The hand of God. When the hand of God comes on your life, there shall be recovery. Hallelujah. There shall be recovery. Say, Lord, I receive your hand upon my life, upon my life, upon my life. Wherever you saw men enter into total recovery and restoration, the hand of God was upon their life. Ezra chapter 8 verse 18. What guarantees total recovery? Number one, the hand of God. Quickly. Ezra, he said, and by the good hand of our God upon us, by the good hand of our God upon us, I prophesy the good hand of God on you. I am not talking to people today. The good hand of God is coming upon you. The good hand of God is coming upon you. The good hand of God is coming upon you. The good hand of God is coming upon you. Coming upon you. Receive the good hand of the Lord. Be seated. And by the good hand of our God upon us. One of the things I know from the beginning in 1987 to now is the hand of God has always been upon my life. Do you know Bishop said to? They will tell you, Nyamen Sawaneso. Nyamen Saide, they want us. Bishanko, Manyamen Sambra also. Manyamin sam bravo so Manyamin sam bravo so Embra wa jumem Embra wa wari emo Say I receive it The hand of God Ezra 8 By the good hand of the Lord Of our God upon us It's a prayer that you have to pray First Chronicles 8 verse 18 is a prayer that you have to pray. First Chronicles 4 verse 9 and 10. Jabez prayed that prayer. Said, he said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And, he, and his mother called his name Jabez saying, because I bear him with sorrow. Next. Next. 
and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and that thine what hand might be with me. Somebody say, Hand. The last one said, And God granted him that which he requested, which means that the hand of God actually came upon his life. telling you show me a man who has God's hand on his life you cannot fight that man you won't succeed I'm telling you show me a woman who has God's hand on her life you can't fight them try and fight you can't. And that is my prayer for you. You miss a good place to stand and receive it. Receive the hand of God. 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 Hallelujah. When that hand comes upon you, please be seated. What does it bring to you? When God's hand comes, what does it bring to you? What are the advantages? What are the products of the hand of God on a man? Ezra 8, 18. And by the good hand of the Lord upon us, they brought us a man of understanding of the sons of Mali, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah with his sons and his brethren. 18 they brought us by the good hand of our God upon us. Go back. They brought us. And I'm saying, Yamen Sai Woye Sunti. Omudi Sankofui Ebrein. Men of understanding were brought to Ezra. Am I communicating? The hand of God upon the man guarantees divine connection. <laughs> Ladies! It is not your beauty that brings God's that bring you divine connection. <laughs> no way! It's the hand of God who guarantee divine connection. People that you don't know will come your way. Two days ago, I just yes, two days. God is my witness. I can't show you the phone. I, I, I woke up and I, I, and I called him and I said, why are you sending me money like that? Why? If I woke up, the guy has sent me plenty money. Why are you sending me now? I said, the Lord said, I should send it to you. So I keep on. Men pay ba mo ba ma one day. Ofi tin de kusi December. Outa ona sheme. Nyamenansa. Enfant kofu bi mbra wa brabum. Nyamenansa kofu bi. Enfant ni petitu fobi. God may God bring men of substance, men of understanding, men of blessing, men of value into your life. Shout yes. All these people, it is God's hand that brought them into my life. All these people, it is God's hand that brought them into my life. And I declare, ten men will come into your life. Ten women will come into your life. Shall I receive? Be seated. Can I tell you something before I close? I'm closing 945, the message. Let me tell you. Look at somebody and tell him, oh hey, look at his eyes. Say, look at her eyes. She's, she's very beautiful and you are very handsome. So look at your eyes. <laughs> and tell, tell him, come on, come on. Look at the beautiful lady's eyes. Come on. And smile. You see that you can't look at the eyes. Look at somebody. <laughs> look at somebody and say, and say, you don't need too many people in your life. Tell him just one or two is enough. Clap for Jesus. I discovered that you don't need too many people in your life. Too many wahala. One or two. I 
I was telling my son, I said, I'm going to build a studio upstairs there. And I said, by December, I will build it. Because I have one or two or three. Just the word. Bishop, keep us time. We are going to run with it. Nyamin fan kofobim bra wo life mu. Now ka say oh jo. Oh. Ella. I want to do I want to expand my business. Can you just give me 5000? And Angela will say oh. Give me up to Friday. Before she calls you on Friday, Thursday night, she has sent you 15000 Ghana. Be seated. And if you want to keep good men in your life, when they give you the money and they say, Give it back to me in February, first of all, say thank you. You are God sent. Before February, by 1st February or 31st January, send the money back. If you send half, send half and say, Angie, thank you for sending me the money. I wanted to send you all, but for now, I have this. Don't wait for the bank to come back and say, Hey, Miss Kenam, the money was here for my fro back. I that day, I'm friend. Three days' time, Angie, I'll free you. Miss Kenam, I was away. Ah, who's who's away? Make my fro, Nanta. If I say I'll call you, didn't you hear? A lot of people with their attitude have closed their doors. Chase away their helpers. And today, it is a mobile phone age where gossip is very easy. So you went to another man, oh, give me money. But the man now knows that your best friend is this one. So he calls, ah, this your friend say I should give him money. What will you say? Hey! He's a thief. He's a thief. Make it no give up. In this church, I have received stories of people in this church here who took money from you and they didn't pay. If you are new here, if anybody comes to you, don't give them money. 95 of them, they will not pay. If you want them to pay, let the Reverend Saki know clap for Jesus let them sign a contract according to Ghana 1992 constitution <laughs> don't pay I, I asked one lady he said Bishop the guy came to me bothering me he said he needs some money I gave him thousand Ghana city. he said two weeks time I'll give you the money Bishop six months I forced him on, and he gave me half later when we met on Sunday in church if I pass here you pass here if I'm coming here, you just start praying. You just want to avoid the person. By the good hand, divine connection. I want to end here. Let divine connection come in your life. Am I communicating? Let divine connection come in your life. Let God bring men your way, people your way. Shout yes. Hallelujah. Wednesday I'm going to continue but the thing is that Wednesday many of you don't come to church the devil who has been telling you that thing be seated you have become too comfortable with God God will leave you he will leave you I came here around 745. I saw only about five people here. Church workers absent. That time, Bishop Charles has is almost finishing his first service with 4,000 people. Bankers, lawyers, doctors, nurses like you. And you think that God will leave them and bless you? He won't bless you because you are lazy. Thank God I saw Accra small. Accra, life start 3.30 a.m., 4 a.m. There's movement. 5 a.m., people are already in their services. Yes! They are dead. Oh, she's dead. 
Singers are there praying. They are ready to mount the altar. Only two of you, including your boss. Your boss. So, Mungina Musiusia, Mungina Musiasia, including the you with the glasses. You pastors, you, oh, you people. But Bishop came before you came. Who spoke on? You with your suit, Pastor Prince. I say by seven they are in church. Seven Christ lit. My wife noticed something about me. She said, ah, that didn't say who saw in Tempao. Oh yes. The thing just entered my liver. It just entered my liver. Because you are coming to do it for God, not man. Wednesday, you would if you Wednesday would if you really ask Bishop Duncan William, they are doing 100 days prayer. Check it, members, they go every day 100 days. What are you saying? 100 days, El Bernard, 50 days, 60 or something, eh? 30 days. You super pamucha seven days. Wakoda, Omada, 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 Kosodai. Now, best sorry, we are a blessing in our Preaching now, and they even are going preaching Accra. By, by three, boom, I'm gone. For London preach. I am telling you the gospel. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Bishop will tell you the truth. The hand of God. If you want God's hand to come upon your life. Hallelujah. You know my prayer for you on the 14th of November. Do you know what I'm, my prayer for you? It's not money. Charlotte. My prayer for all of you is that between now and the end of the year don't miss a single service in this auditorium do you know why as we are going to the end of the year god is like the way companies give packages god just packages one of them i'll not forget that day me and reverend saki went to the bank that is oh when you are coming from Barclays bank no, if you are coming down, is this Tambic? Yes. Ah, I was 2016. I was at this place. Piper, no. Larry. I was going home from the office. I was going home. Then a guy called me. Justice. He said, Bishop, I'm in your town. Can you come to me? I said, Justice, what do you mean? I should come to you. He said, Bishop, I know I'm wrong, but please come to me. I said, I'm not coming. You see me next week. Because, Bishop, what I want to do is not next week matter. I said, I said, what? He said, Bishop, I want to give you something. I said, what happened? He said, Bishop, I came here five months ago. This was 22nd December. Five months ago, and you gave me a prophecy. Let's just last two months, the bank called me that there's some money in my account. I called my partners, the money in my account. So, okay, Anna, me, yeah, you ten. Me, reverse it. Me, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I told Sobosaki, I said, as long as I live, I will never forget this bank. This, this corner, a higher reverend. No, no, see, Abad knows him, say, say, I'm American. Me drew out, the guy was just standing there. He said, Bishop, you are a man of God. So what happened? He said, before I tell you what happened, the guy gave me $12,000. You know, fresh notes. You know those money that are, are car. So, I had a homopoietis. I said, you, you said I should give it to who? <laughs> he said, you. I said, what? <laughs> he said, you prayed for me. Bishop, I have been given one twenty thousand dollars. 
I'm giving you the title of it. I will come and see you. You know that guy? He was one of the first guys who made the first deposit for this. Some short guy comes to the red car here. Yeah. When he left, I did this. But let me share there or there. And yet die soon. So from November to December, there are some miracles that happen. Me, I am telling you, it happened everywhere. What you have to do, my children, eh? come, come. It's for you to always be around. What did I say? Be around. Be in church. Because by some, by some bad, you see this man, his mouth tells you that he's sick. Right? Or he's recovering, right? He should have been at home drinking cocoa but because he's on duty he's here you have to be around on Wednesday I'm going to do, have an anointing service look at me and then lay hands on everybody clap for Jesus that may God give you your last minute word miracle clap for the Lord lift your hands say Lord I thank you for this word I bless your name for this word in the name of Jesus, Lord my Father, let there be a miracle and let your hand come upon me. Begin to pray now. Hurry up. Begin to pray now. This your hand is not good. This your prayer cannot bring anything to you. I'm telling you, there's a way you pray that brings blessing to you. They say, Radie, let your miracle come. Let your blessing come. Let your favor come. Let your anointing come. Pray, pray, pray. Kanamosia. 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 Lord, let your blessing come. Let your blessing come. Let your blessing come. Let your blessing come yes, upon Lord. my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your blessing come. Let your blessing come. Lord, let your blessing come. Lord, let your blessing come. In Talabado Shadaba, let your blessing come. In the name of Jesus, let your blessing come. In Talabado Shadaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy. Say, I prophesy. I prophesy upon my dry bones. Upon my dry bones, leave, 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 leave. Say, let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle in my life. In my life, in Jesus' name. Jam your hands together for Jesus. And put your hands on your heart. Adia Bakwa Eba Besi Ewe Muse. Yesu Christo Oba. Yesu Christo Oba. Oba. Heaven. E Adia Oho. Hell to Adia Oho. Basa Wudu Homa Yesu Christo. Na Ufani Se Okra Nwa Jim Kwa. Ose Sangu Shibre. Also, sound shebre. Oh, Hannah said, Won't find a tall crown or a jinqua. We've been a fro, Miss Obraso, Brassa, sorry. Oh, by one when you're me to me, waha. Oh, but Opeso do, Humano. No two who a senensa. Peso bosam paye di bechi. Oh, yes, Christo demo. Cassi radi yesu. And Anna pay. Midi minipedia. Ah, enemy soon soon. The minipedia, Misha Unsa. A free neck of a mendomo. Na maminya wodia me faus de kra ne majinkwa maminya wodia e wo yesu christo dimo fa me boni fa cheme ne fa me se wo ba amen obi a wo bo sampa ye ni bi no ma on sa right to cosmo pacho mumra bo se mo mo obi a bo sampa ye no ma on sa right to cosmo o bo sampa ye na ma on sa right to cosmo Breakthrough, 
the same thing. I am on the mission border. But the mehuma Jesus, me we no. Now me start say me go in church remo. I na see see amini. Also ende. Oh yeah, adi na me so me ye bino. Na se nyami shramia. Also nyambe de ubi shira wonso. On sa so kosro. I pray for these young men and this young lady. May you turn around their life, change their destinies, do for them what no man can do. Satan, take your hands off. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. My name is Ube D. Emrante Yechi, Asofo Yechi. I'm going to show you the name. And now, Okwa, Ufun Nama Nandi Amomo. You bet D. Wechi, the fitting deco, Kwisiye Debi Anu Aba Asori. Ukwa Debi Anu Aba Asori. You pon Asori Pe, you bet you show, Nema Bebri. A bit more, why then, waiting team, I want your name. What did they make? Inti. Yembun se momo a omokwe. God bless you. For our first offering. For our first offering. For our first offering. Adie ba kusu e kanwa. In this end time. Ebe ma wo. Nyami eti me shila wo. End of this year. On two offering basa basa. On two offering e modu. Offering e ni mo nyam wo. Offering and Yamu, no Unkua, no we shall. Mount Sasso Cosmos, so you know now so. So you know now so. Father, I thank you for that offering. Lift your offering. May grace come on your offerings and change your destiny through these offerings. In Jesus' name, Faustina, stand here, please. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. It's not by mine, it's not by power. By my spirit says the Lord It's not by mind It's not by power By my spirit says the Lord It's not by mind It's not by, mind. It's not by power hey, By my, my spirit says the Lord It's not by mind It's not by mind it's not by power, by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain, this mountain shall be removed. Oh, this mountain shall be removed. Can you stand on your feet? This mountain shall be removed. By my spirit, it's not by my. It's not by my. It's not by my It's not by my It's not by power But must be with This mountain This mountain Shall be removed This mountain Shall be removed Thank you Lord This mountain Shall be removed Please be seated. We have a, we will close on second service 1015. We have a, a 12 minutes home cell meeting, which is very important to this church. You can't home sell a friend is saying home fellowships and I say important pertain Asia. Baby, I'm not it. Yeah, I sorry in the auditorium and also from house to house. There are 10 home cells right now, I think so, right? In this church. But before that, if today is your first time in this auditorium, quickly lift your hands and let me see. Umba Hada, and your first time. God bless you, sir. Please come. Come with your, come. Is that your wife? Wonderful. Come with your wonderful, beautiful wife. Anybody else who is new for the first time? God bless you, sir. It's me, please. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to break into our home cells, and I love you to sit right where this star is sitting and we'll talk to you and tell you about this ministry where god makes nobody's somebody's and makes champions out of us you are the next in line god bless you please sit right in front here in the name of jesus the rest of us break into your home cells right now and i'll be with you we have just 10 minutes or 12 minutes